A third way of polarising light is by double refraction. This happens in materials that have a crystal structure, which means that the refractive index is different for different polarisations. These are called double refractive or birefringent materials. This is how it works. Unpolarised light comes in and gets split into two different polarisations that have slightly different speeds and take slightly different paths. The calcite crystal on the right has a double image of the graph paper underneath and the two rays have perpendicular polarisations and have clearly taken slightly different paths through the crystal. You can actually see it happening here. They have a polarizer that is being turned around and around, and you can see that the horizontal polarization has taken a slightly different path to the vertical polarization because the wording is shifting slightly from one place to another. The final method of polarising light is by scattering. We've looked at the fact that electrons in a material absorb light and then re-radiate it, and that they can't radiate it in the direction that they are vibrating because that must be the electric field direction. This happens with sunlight hitting the atmosphere. If we are looking straight up into a blue sky, we can assume that the sun's rays are coming in roughly horizontally to hit molecules in the atmosphere above us. So the light hits the molecules and starts electrons oscillating. They then re-radiate the light. The blue arrows around the molecule show the possible directions of oscillation of the electrons each one parallel to the electric field component of the photon that hit it. We can see that some electrons have been set to oscillating vertically. Now the one direction that those electrons can't emit light at is vertically. However, electrons that have been made to oscillate horizontally can emit light vertically, so the observer underneath, who sees ray C, will see polarised light. The observer at A, straight ahead, sees all of the polarizations, in other words, unpolarized light, and anyone in between those two will see partially polarized light. Bees and other insects can detect different polarizations and use it to navigate. And in the same way, the Vikings used a rock called Iceland Spar, which was a calcite crystal that actually goes a different color when pointed in the direction of the sun. Some insects have evolved markings that make use of their ability to see polarised light. In this photograph of a butterfly, the left wing appears as it does normally, but the right wing is shown as it appears when viewed through a polarising filter. You can see that the light reflecting off the white patterns is polarised. Tests have shown that other butterflies are attracted to the polarised light patterns. If they're shown photographs of butterflies with the polariser in place, they don't show much interest. <laughs>